want to start by saying, um, Buffalo, New York is a great city. This is too low for me. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And I have the story to prove it. Uh, I was driving out in the city of Buffalo the other day, and um, I was stopped at this really long red light. Uh, it's really, like, obnoxiously long. Uh, that, that doesn't make it a great city. Um, but what it occasioned the chance that I might look at the cars in front of me as they were passing by, and uh, I got bored. I, I, I people watch. Uh, so, I noticed this one car that's passing by. It's this really nice, like, like two years old powder blue, sort of that pimp powder blue color. Um, it, it's like this fusion SUV hatchback thing. I want it. And uh, I notice, uh, I look at the car and then I look at the guy driving the car. Uh, and I notice a few things about this guy. Um, first of all, his beard, what you would call a beard. Um, it's this thick thing. It was really unkempt, I think is the word for it. Um, a grody, just, it looked like a hedge that was sculpted by a lady big. Um, he had this really uh, thick wool uh, head cap thing pulled down almost over his eyes. I didn't trust him. And his face looked really oily. I wouldn't touch it um, from my own car. And uh, so I'm noticing all this. I look at the car, I look at him, and I ask myself, why is this homeless man driving this car? Uh, but the, the thing that interested me was not the fact that I went, Oh my god, where did this homeless guy get this car from? What nice middle-class family did he steal this nice powder blue SUV hatchback whatever from that Johnny can't get to the soccer practice now? That wasn't it. What it actually was, was isn't Buffalo, New York just the best city in the world where our homeless people can hold down jobs and afford nice cars and really be contributing members to society? Yeah. I'm old now, so that, that, thank you, thank you, absolutely, yes, that deserves applause. Um, this got me to thinking. Uh, we have this great resource in Buffalo, New York, of homeless people, a very healthy community of homeless people, or as I like to call them, feral humans, because that is what they are. Um, and when you live in the wild, you have to be very fit. It's the whole Darwinism thing. Um, the strong survive. Uh, and you know, I believe that homeless people can probably run faster than me, leap farther than me, probably screw better than me, too. I believe all those things. So I thought to myself, why don't we take that? And let's do what we do with most underprivileged demographics, and let's start a sports league for them. Uh, ah! One thought is uh, the HSL FGA, the Homeless Super League for the Glorification of America <laughs> logo. Um, ah! And you would take all the homeless people from Buffalo, and you would get them together, and you would, you would get homeless people from other towns, too, and you would, you would get them in the same room, and you would have them do something. Um, one thought, uh, human pogs. If you remember the old schoolboy game from the mid-90s. Uh, and, 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 and what you would do in this is you would take your homeless people, and you would start at the ground, and you would stack them. You would stack your homeless people up as high as you would go, and then you would take your thickest homeless person, uh, your slapper, and you would, you, would, you would go to the top of the building, and you would drop him on top of the pile of homeless people, and whoever fell off the pile and didn't die, you got to bring home. <laughs> So in conclusion, um, I believe that effective support for the homeless version of the Hunger Games will help us all find better cars. Thank you. Yeah.